back to the cities and channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we've got an episode of City at the Movies. Yes, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but we're going to have a look at uh, something on Amazon. Yes, uh, a bit shorter than all Amazon efforts, in fairness, uh, 61 minutes. But we're going to have a look at Calvin Phillips' The Road to City. Yes, interesting title. We'll have a look at this latest behind the scenes fly on the wall. We'll see. A documentary that features God's Own Club City, and of course, uh, they're very likable. They're very likable, and unfortunately, not very lucky. Calvin Phillips, certainly his first season uh, with City, anyway. So, we'll have a look at that. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Everything's City, of course, past and present. It'd be great to have you on board. Spread the word, and if you like Calvin Phillips, give this a like. If you like my little efforts to do it, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, guys. It'd be much appreciated. Yes, the tagline from Amazon. Interesting one. This is a tale of true determination that took Calvin Phillips from a working class estate in Leeds to the pinnacle of his profession. Yes, I did. I did just check um, the meaning of the word pinnacle, and it's uh, in the old thesaurus dictionary. The highest point attained or attainable over a person's lifetime career etc yeah interesting interesting from amazon it, uh, it would be correct perhaps a few years down the line if it uh, accomplished lots of different things but uh, yeah it should have been correct he was in the right place at the right time of course to uh, reach a pinnacle of, of his career uh, but uh, a bit like this amazon documentary he and this film just doesn't quite achieve certain things or <laughs> achieve anywhere near that so interesting little tag from amazon but uh, we'll have a look at it anyway uh, what are other people thinking well we've got 26 scores have been left on internet movie database and it's getting as at uh, this is the 27th of july 2023 it's just getting 5.8 out of 10 it was 6 out of 10 it's dropped uh, 0.2 from a, a review that was left last night i would expect that to drop a little more in fairness because you do get uh, members of the film crew and friends and family putting reviews on not many obviously there's only 26 on i mean i saw more than that in his house watching a, a leeds uh, game against brentford but uh, yeah they've not really been uh, passionately out there supporting old calvin by the looks of it just yet because this has been available for a little while on amazon Anyway, any, any, anything interesting, anything that we didn't really know about Calvin from him joining the club and reading about him, etc, etc. And of course, he's a, he's a working class lad. A lot, of the, a lot of these players are working class lads, so if you think about it. Uh, he's got a dad who's, who sadly has been in prison for a while now. He's been in and out of prison most of his life. A gauge from what I saw that him and his mother aren't together anymore. But it's uh, it was uh, obviously... Uh, an interesting thing and obviously we'll speak more about his dad in prison uh, before we finish this little uh, little vlog it's nice to see his England debut which was against Croatia it's nice to see him getting stuck into Kovacic at the time so I, th I think when this was put together uh, looking at it yeah it's not it didn't go straight to the end of uh, last season 22-23 season by what we saw anyway or Amazon didn't have access to certain parts of that season as far as City was concerned but uh, it was nice to see him on that England debut getting stuck in he did have an assist in that as well but him, him and Kovacic uh, coming to blows which of course uh, uh, I don't probably Amazon wouldn't have known that when they did it, so it was nice to see. Apart from Kovacic being a Chelsea player at the time, so it had some relevance. And the best bit for me in the whole thing, and it's only for a couple of minutes, was we we get to see. And I always like this from the old City documentary back in the day, which I've done one of these on as well, if you remember. Uh, I get you get to see well not all the board, but certain guys, uh, certain uh, shifters and shakers in the Leeds board discussing the potential sale. They don't say two who two at that time, but I think we know. And there's a killer quote, really, from the MD who says, uh, who said, we can't have 65 million players. We're rating Calvin Phillips between 65 and 70 million. This is a, this is obviously it was last season, not this season. It probably would be, well, it probably would have been rated this, this season. Uh, he said, we can't have 65 million players on our books. There, there's too much risk on one player. It's reckless. We could lose him to an injury. I mean, that, Possibly, I can understand it. I mean, these clubs, you're right, they're not all City. They're not, not all commercially uh, creating the money that City get. Uh, you know, whether other fans like it or not, that's how we do it. We don't just get uh, the old sheet, doesn't just keep pil piling money into the place. Uh, but it does possibly expect, for me, Leeds, um, when they came back up to the Premier League, I think I'm sure they were talking about. Uh, increasing the ground capacity, doing various things and doing the right things and spending all this money. I mean, they were talking about 190 million 
Uh, they'd lose it, they dropped out in season 21-22 uh, when they do feature the Brentford game, their last game of the season. And that was what it would have cost them at the time to drop out the Premiership. Of course, as we know now, they dropped out the following season. But uh, yeah, it's just the thinking behind what the MD said there. You know, it could lose him to injury and we, you know, we can't. In other words, you know, it's best to flog him because, yeah, hey, we'll get another couple of players uh, and... And that's that, but it just lacks a bit of ambition for me, and that's probably explains why Leeds are back in the championship, and may it include may may think why they only got forty two million in the end. Obviously, that was the figure; it was nowhere near the sixty five seventy million valuation. But it certainly was one of the best bits of the sixty one minutes, and it's something. I'm not used to seeing, obviously, we, we see a lot of what we saw on the documentary, you know, family and friends. We, we see that sort of thing behind the scenes from the club's uh, media outlets and stuff like that. But at least that's the sort of thing you don't tend to get to see, which is what I like about these Amazon documentaries. These The stuff you don't normally see as a fan, and that's probably the best bit. Obviously, the move to Manchester's apart, his apartment... Yeah, it was a bit, obviously, well, it didn't look great when he moved, did it? Because there was no furniture, but once he got a few bits and pieces in it, it was all right. And I'm not, I'm, you know, I'd rather be out in the country myself, but uh, if I could afford it. But uh, his apartment at least had a nice view of the Etihad. And, of course, his career with City's not really got going. So these early injuries, I mean, don't forget, he only made four starts for City during the 22-23 season. He's got three dogs, uh, which was a bit of a nuisance when he took them out for a walk. He's a nice lad, but we know that anyway. There's nothing new there. Uh, John Stones is a bit of a wind-up merchant, but we know that as well. We had Jack Grealish commenting, but not too much on Jack. I think they could have expanded that a little bit more. But, again, uh, media rights for these players and stuff, it's, they were prob probably limited. And before the programme did finish, of course, he went to see his dad in prison. And that's for the first time in six or seven years. And he, he did say at times that he was always, you know, he's very busy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he seemingly his mother doesn't mind him going to see his dad, etc., etc. But uh, and his dad doesn't like him to go. But yeah, it, it was strange to say he went to see him about. Uh, I think he was he was in there for about an hour and a half. So with all the searches and stuff they do. So it was good to see that he went to go and see his dad, who's due out in a couple of years. Uh, so hopefully Calvin can uh, keep him on the straight and narrow with a bit of luck. Uh, it'd be, be, be nice for him as well. But uh, yeah, so that was the first time he'd been to his, visit his dad in six and seven years. And of course, his gran, who, who died uh, two, a couple of years ago, was, he was very close to his gran. You know, he said he'd give up all his money just to spend one more hour with his gram, which is a really nice sentiment. But as I said, we know he's a we know he's a nice lad. We can tell he's a nice lad even just by looking at him. <laughs> we don't, you know, and just seeing his body language when he's, you know, been turned out for City, etc. Yeah, it's all sadly though, apart from that the nice bits like that, it's all a bit light well lightweight for me. Um not helped of course by the sort of unimpressive time we had at City. I've just got the feeling that Amazon Threw this one out, had a very limited access to City, especially at City. I mean, there's a, I, like, I enjoyed the first 10 or 15 minutes with the leads and fighting relegation and the, the nervousness and the excitement. I, I like that bit, but that's Leeds United. I'm not interested in Leeds United, I'm interested in City. And the City city piece was all a bit toned down. Even even the fans, even the even the crowd scenes were, were very laid back. You know, it's always come from this rough... Uh, rough, joyful Leeds United to this more demure uh, setting at City, which yeah, yeah, that's that's just how it was played out. I know, I know my team. I love my team, and every bit of passion Leeds have got, we've got for ours as well. There's no doubt he's a lovely lad, and we do want him to have a great 23-24, of course, but time will tell. But the, as I said, the documentary from a lively start as, Le as Leeds battle relegation all went a little bland, to be honest. It didn't appear to take us anywhere near the City treble. I mean, what I, what I really wanted to see, you're not going to do it in an hour and one minute, you're not going to do it in 61 minutes. Is see as he got back from injury, obviously it showed up to the World Cup and when he was classed as being overweight, and one of his guys at Leeds was sticking up for him and saying Pep was... Pep, wasn't careful enough with his words, but yeah, uh, and that's sort of, to me that's where the filming with City sort of ended because there's no links with the, with the treble, there's no links at the hunt for the trophies at the end. Now, obviously, Calvin was mainly on the sidelines for that. I wanted to see what his reactions were, as you know, personal reactions were, how he coped. 
with the success I like to see him with those trophies. We saw pictures uh, with him with all three trophies, of course. And uh, as I say, he has to be a little bit disappointed that he's not contributed. But Amazon's didn't seem to take us that far, and that's what's disappointing about this. It doesn't. It does half a job. Well, probably not even half a job. In fairness, it doesn't. You know, so it as a true insight to how he coped. Um, all right, we saw him trying to get through injury. We got a little bit of a feel of how that affected him, but it never really works. Uh, and let's face it, they, they used the word pinnacle, didn't they, Amazon? And City, as a team, we got to, we got well, we got to a pinnacle, didn't we? I'm sure we can do better. Well, in theory, perhaps not too much from a competitive point of view, uh, but we'd won almost everything, and yet it seemed to, it didn't concentrate or look at that and it just seems a waste of a documentary to me but as I said it could have been the fact that they could have been restricted in what they could and couldn't show as far as was City was concerned so yeah it just leads overall uh, to a poorer production something they, they just got out there I think to, to try you know obviously keep keep the subscribers happy keep things ticking along but based on the internet movie database ratings of 26 I mean it's People aren't rushing to watch it, even even at his old favourites Leeds, where he's obviously as I said his his family's probably that big, twenty six. They could have all left ten out of tens on, couldn't they? But uh, yeah, it is a disappointing fly on the wall film. I will give it a score if, if anything gets less than five out of ten. I don't normally give it a score, but this is this is City, this is Calvin Phillips, so I will give it a five out of ten. If it was Rotten Tomatoes, I'd say rotten. If you look at my film reviews, this is what I usually do. And it was Metacritic, the critic site, I give it a mixed review, uh, disappointing or almost negative, but I'll give it a mix, as I said. It's nice to spend a bit of time with Calvin, there were good bits in it, but just not good enough from Amazon, just very, very basic. Uh, and yes, Calvin's a lovely lad, and I, I wish him well for next season, and we all do as City fans, but uh, this probably didn't do him too much justice or dive in too deep into his trials and tribulations whilst he's been at City, in fairness. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, get to watch it. It's on Amazon Prime, as I say. It may be on check your streaming site's availability anywhere else. And let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you. So we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Stay safe, everyone. If you're not a City fan watching this, say you're a Leeds fan. Yeah, stay safe, anyway. And uh, I think it, I think you would have enjoyed bits of this as well. So we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please, as I said, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.